Never do this after eating if you have sleep apnea because there's certain things that happen after the very traumatic event of eating and breaking things down to a molecular level that will make sleep apnea worse. Number one is acid production in your stomach. That's the good thing. But then the bad thing is that you actually have a weaker lower esophagus sphincter, your new favorite word, and that will lead to more GERD and then hurt your breathing at night. Number two is that when you eat, you have more stuff in your abdomen. That will actually make your diaphragm work harder. You'll breathe faster. Then you breathe faster at night. Your airway will be more likely to close at night. And number three is your blood sugar goes up cortisol goes up, sympathetic overdrive, fight or flight, faster breathing, and your airway closes off. So why hasn't this guy mentioned the thing yet? The thing to never do is to just sit around after eating. You want to make sure you go on a light walk for about 10 to 20 minutes after eating to prevent all those bad things we just said. And for even more help, you can get a custom step-by-step -step protocol made just for you. Just click this big old red button here or click the shop button down there or go to the website over my face for custom protocols and direct access to me to help you out in your journey.